Good morning! Welcome to Lemon Juice for the Soul. This is our regular midweek devotion. This morning, let us look at our verse. It is written in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5. Uh, let me read it in, uh, in New American Standard Bible. It read, Therefore, do not go on passing judgment before the time, but wait until the Lord comes, who will both bring to light the things hidden in the darkness and disclose the motives of human hearts, and then praise will come to each person from God. The same verse in International Standard Version, it read, Therefore, stop judging prematurely before the Lord comes, for He will bring to light what is now hidden in darkness and reveal the motives of our hearts. Then each person will receive his praise from God. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5 so, it was Paul who wrote this letter to the church in Corinth. The reason is that because in Corinth, they have divisions. Some like to follow Paul. Some like to follow Apollos. Some like to follow Peter or Cephas. Now, um, because of that, there was division in the church. So, Paul write and gave this advice. So, let us uh, read verse 6 and 7 for us to see the immediate context. Uh, verse 6, it read, Dear brothers and sisters, I have used Apollos and myself to illustrate what I've been saying. If you pay attention to what I have quoted from the scriptures, you won't be proud proud of one of your leaders at the expense of another for what gives you the right to make such judgment so the point of Paul here is that when we compare people there are there are tendency that we love one and then hate the other there will be a tendency that we will be in favor of the other one at the expense of the other person now uh, earlier in the verse or in the chapter Paul is trying to tell them that Paul and Apollos and Cephas they they are all workers in the vineyard so one plant the seed the other one cultivate the ground the other one waters the plant but it is the Lord that make the plant grow so, <clears throat> the point there is that there are times we judge prematurely before even we know some person or um, a situation, we already have those things in mind. So, those things clouded our perspective in looking at the things before us. So, we should look carefully, examine, examine the things carefully, look at different perspective. There was once a wise old man sitting at the gate of an ancient city. A younger traveler stopped before entering the city and asked the old man, Old man! What kind of people live in this town? And then the wise old man answered with a question. Young man, what kind of people were in the town you just came from? And then the young traveler responded, Oh, they were liars and cheats and thugs and drunks, terrible people. And then the old man shook his head and replied, I'm afraid the people in this town are the same way. 
And then later that day, another stranger paused to ask the same question to the old wise man. Sir, what kind of people live in this town? And again, the wise old man gave the same question as an answer. What kind of people did you just live? And then the second traveler answered, Oh, I left a fine town. The people were good. The people were kind. They were honest and hardworking. And then the wise man smiled and said, <laughs> The people in this town are the same way. Welcome. End of the story. The lesson of the story is that people who are kind and forgiving toward others usually experience tolerance from others themselves. But those who are harsh, judgmental, and critical towards others find that others exhibit much the same disposition towards them. The truth is our judgment affects how we see things. By the way, <clears throat> we might be <clears throat> asked the same question. What kind of people do you have in your family? Or what kind of people living in your community? Or what kind of people are attending your church? Again, the answer might be depending on our own judgment. Like the picture that we can see, they're looking at the same thing, but they have different answer depending on their, on their perspective and where they are coming from. So again, like what Paul says, Therefore, do not go on passing judgment before the time comes. But wait until the Lord comes, who will both bring to light the things hidden in the darkness and disclose the motives of human hearts. And then praise will come to each person from God. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, <clears throat> we come before you with our open hearts. Heavenly Father, we know that you can read our mind, our hearts, our thoughts. You can read the innermost motive in our hearts. Heavenly Father, our prayer is that forgive us. Forgive us because so many times we have judged prematurely. Several times we decide on the things before us based on our own perspective heavenly father help us help us to discipline ourselves that before we make a decision or before we make a judgment or before we make a call help us to look at the same thing in different perspective and help us to pass a good justice a good decision heavenly father we are making decision from time to time, every day, every time. Our prayer is that may our decision will give you glory and honor. This is our prayer in Christ's name. Amen and amen. Good morning! <music>